You know, I ain't got nobody to put me in. No, this, this is not that type of pool. I'm trying to tell you that you're not only just a pool, but you have a reservoir. Mm -hmm. You have a river on the inside of you that when you leave this building, you can draw from it. That is what I'm here for you. Yes. See, man-centered, need-oriented is messed us up. Amen. That's what need-oriented, man-centered messages. Where you got to depend on the one, the enlightened one. When true growth in the kingdom is measured by what you become, not by what you know. It's not what I do, it's what I know. I mean, it's not what I know, it's what I do. Amen? So let's get that one right. So the metanoia, the change of mind, it is, yeah. As it appears to one who repeats of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. That's what it is. So, it's, it's, it, as it appears to one who repeats of a purpose he formed or of something that he has done. I don't know if I put that on another one. Is that on another one? Come on, we get late. I'm about to go to sleep. Yeah, there, that, that was it. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. It says it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. Now that's the that's the traditional of uh, tradition that's the usual normal traditional way of viewing repentance, right? But we need to look at it from a different perspective. Now go to metanoia split out. So we need we need to know that the meta the, this is when you dissect it and when you really get in there and you look up the two words independently it means to transfer or to change or transfer. No, it means thinking. It means the exercise of the mind. So we need to change how we exercise the mind. <laughs> we need to transfer how we exercise the mind. That's why the carnal mind. You get what I'm saying? If I, if, if I keep drawing the way I view things from the carnal mind, I'm not walking out repentance. Because there's no legitimate transfer. That's why Bible study is important. That's Bible reading is important because that's where the transfer begins. And then as you meditate upon the stuff you've read, then all of a sudden it's inscribed into who you are. Now it's become a nature thing, not just a head thing. It's not just mental ascent. So that's why meditation is very, very important. So you can process the word that you've read. Judah yeah. Good. Yeah. And what, what a lot of rabbinical writers say when you meditate, you paint a picture. So every time I'm meditating on God's word, I'm painting a picture. Mm. Why? Because as a man thinketh, so is he. As we think, as we transfer our thinking, as we allow God to change our minds, come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. Am I right? As I allow him to override my old mind, remember, it's also an overriding by a new mind or simply to exercise or draw your thinking from another source. That's my trans. You're going to find it in the book, so that's my thought. It means what, that's what happens when we get into repentance. It's God allowing, it's, it's us allowing God's new mind to override the old mind. It is to exercise or draw your thinking from another source. That's what he wants to get us to. Where we, all of a sudden, when you want to do what you know you should not do, but all of a sudden, because you've already uh, studied to show yourself approved of the God, a workman needed not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth, and you understand that the word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, and you know it's piercing dividing of thoughts and intents, and now the thoughts and intents has a whole new mind. Mm. Within these scriptures, there's thoughts and intents. Amen. Soul and spirit, joints and marrow. Mm -hmm. We did the teaching, we talked about how it's a tripartite. So when I go through scriptures, it's a, it's a holistic engraftment of God's word, his nature. But it's not scripture alone. The word that we have has to come alive. And the reason why we don't feel alive is because we haven't understood the, 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 
the elementary principles of having a good discipline in studying the scriptures. It's your life source. Why? So it can put you in a position that you can have an encounter with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords so you can discover depths of his love that passes all understanding so you can have a peace that can get you, and it becomes an anchor to who you are, and then all of a sudden your identity is set free to serve him without any reservations. Amen? Amen. 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 Huh. It means, this is something God gave me a couple days ago, it means to change the location or the source of your thought life from the external sense realm to the realm of God's kingdom that's within you. It, 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 it means to change <coughs> the location of your thought life. So I'm not going to allow my circumstances, situations to hijack me. I don't have to with people. Because that doesn't represent the nature that I care. Amen. Amen. I, I, you know, I could probably be in a situation where you want to cuss somebody out, but that's not, I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You just won't let them have it. Sometimes situations, the devil set it up where you can just go be you. <laughs> nobody didn't know but you. And nobody can cuss like a Pentecostal person. Amen. <laughs> but that tongue is set on the fires of hell. Mm -hmm. So you can have all the academia in your head, but your tongue can still be unified with the fires of hell. That's why I thank God that in Pentecost, the first thing that came down was tongues of fire. Mm -hmm. Most of our problem is in our conversation. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth mm -hmm. speaks. My destiny yes. in my life is predicated upon what I've allowed in my heart. Yes. Come on, Alice. You're not going to get a breakthrough. I don't care how many lines you go to, who you talk to, or who lines you. That break that we're going to come to to come out of here. Go ahead. That's come out of here. Out of that abundance. I don't know what your abundance is, but out of it. Right? Now let me stop right here. Let me, oh, let me find some place to stop. So, so we got to understand. Yeah, I'll stop right there. We'll, we'll talk. We'll touch later. But I, I mean, because the end of time is getting away and stuff. Uh, I'm going to blame it on time. No, I'm tired, right? <laughs> no, I ain't tired. I can talk for two hours. Whichever come first. Whichever come first. Okay, I'm going to preach for another two hours. Then. Just because you said we're going to work. Now, repentance is an, in, uh, is an inward decision, though. We're going to talk about that next uh, week. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we get somewhere along the line, we got to remove the traps. I can't, ooh, I can't wait to get to that. Because we're so trapped. Yeah. And the only way we can get free we got to do it the way God already set the rules of engagement. That's good. Remember, a long time ago I talked about the Roe Act. Rules of engagement. We need to get up through that. So much. We need to get the Roe Act back out. We need to learn how to uh, comply mm -hmm. with the nature that's in us. And to become a prisoner of the kingdom. Zechariah said, a prisoner of hope. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have a lively hope. Mm -hmm. yes. We do. Yes, sir. I don't care if you don't feel lively tonight. Yeah. It's in you. Yes. And repentance, we're going to talk about give you some tools to live by so you can go ahead and raise the roof right here. Mm -hmm. So you can start thinking and break old systemic ways. Mm -hmm. There's a system that's been established in the scriptures that can help us to endure. Not, not matter of fact, not, not endure because it seems like you don't have a chance. And I, I mean prevail because endure just means I'm gonna hold out. No, no, God wants us to prevail. He wants us to to supersede. He wants us to abound. He wants us to be unmovable, steadfast in the work of the Lord. Why? Because God has always caused us to triumph mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Father, we bless you tonight for this word. We just ask that you set. I, I pray with, that, uh, with Joe prayed that I set.